G'day, my name's Alex Cassegrain. I'm the senior winemaker here, and behind that camera is Josh, our club manager, who is fortunate enough to be sitting in the shade while we do this video, and I had to be looking at the sun, so I do apologise for my squinting. Today, we get, we're fortunate enough to be able to taste these wines on the balcony of uh, the Seasons Restaurant, which is located here at Cassegrain Wines. Uh, we're also uh, fortunate enough to be able to get some space here on the, on the deck before um, before it fills out, which is typically what happens during our, our wedding season, which is what we're leading into at the moment. So we're very lucky to be able to try these wines here. Um, the first wine we're releasing for you uh, in the next coming up club will be our 2018 Viognier. And similar to last year, the Viognier has been sourced from the Hilltops region, which is down south, so very cool climate. This year we've done something a little bit different with the with the fruit, we kept it a really cool fermentation just to ensure that we uh, encapsulate all the fruit flavors. Um, it's a little bit different to last year in the sense that it's a bit more confectionery. Um, so it smells a bit sweeter, but still a very uh, luscious wine and fantastic wine. So on the aromatics, we've got plenty of lychees, pears, apricots, which is you know synonymous with Viognier nice into spice. Palette, luscious, very savoury. Not too, um, it's a dry wine but it's not too acidic so it's a very food orientated wine, will go well with some fantastic Asian dishes. Um, it's an it's enjoyable wine for all occasions. The next one we've got to show, which we're a little bit excited about this year, is our 2018 Seasons Rosé. Um, it's a lot lighter than we've done in the past, and we've tried to keep that very much towards more towards that Provence style in France. Um, the varieties this year are a little bit different to last year. Um, just due to the weather, we weren't able to source all the grapes that we would have liked to have sourced for this particular wine. But nonetheless, we've um, I think we've personally hit the nail on the head with this one. It's it's beautifully salmon in colour. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very pale. Plenty of fruit flavour, lots of strawberry. Nice bit of spice. The fruit from this particular wine has come from two regions, both from uh, the hilltops as also central ranges. Um, the varieties consist of Cabernet being the majority, then Sangiovese, then Merlot. The Sangiovese, we did a, a bit of a high solids ferment just to give the wine a bit of complexity, a bit of difference, but not to overpower the wine. Again, on the palate, beautifully light and crisp. Got a little bit of body there, um, which allows the wine to, um, to hold itself. It's, it's very savory. You would just want to keep on drinking more. It's a fantastic wine. Here we have our 2017 white label Shiraz. Um, both Simon and I, uh, the red winemaker here and myself, are really excited about the new 2017 wines coming out. You've already had the 2017 Nebbiolo in the last pack and, and the, the white label Shiraz and the Sangiovese are two wines we're very, very eager to get out there. And, and this particular wine, uh, the fruit was sourced from both Hilltops and Orange. Um, it's a fantastically vibrant wine. Medium bodied, nice locks of uh, black currant, plum, a little bit of vanilla oak uh, from our Hungarian barrels. On the palate, that character really, really shines through. Soft tannins, They're very much a food wine as well. It'll go well with duck as well as all the t all, all sorts of red meats that we typically enjoy a Shiraz with. It's a little bit on the leaner side, which means it's going to be very much a food wine uh, and it's going to get better in time. And our last but not least, the 2017 Niche Noir Sangiovese. The wine for this particular, the grapes for this particular wine, sorry, have come uh, solely from the Hilltops region, uh, which is a region we're very excited about. And in going forward in 2018, we're looking at having some fantastic uh, 2018 reds as well as whites. Uh, some of the whites we're already having, so you'll get to see that. But this particular wine was uh, the first time we've done a Sangiovese from the Hilltops region. It's an incredibly luscious wine. Fantastic aromatics, lots of spice. 
a little bit of vanilla from the, again from the Kadar barrels that we use, the Hungarian oak. Plenty of black currant, plum, very deep wine. On the palate, soft, beautiful tannins, very easy drinking. Um, will go well with just about any kind of pasta dish you can throw at it. And again, very much a food wine. It's a wine that we've held back for several months and we're only just releasing it now and we think it's the perfect time to start enjoying it. Look, I thank you all again very much for taking the time to watch these videos. It's been uh, my pleasure to be able to make these wines for you. I do hope uh, you enjoy them um, and also would look, like to hear your feedback based on the uh, gift that we sent out in the last club, the 187 mils, which again, a lot of these wines will be available in, uh, especially the Sangiovese and the Rosé which are the exact same wine, but just in a smaller, more convenient bottle, especially for that special occasion or if you're by yourself. Um, we do really encourage you guys to reorder. These wines are in limited supply. So once they're out, they're out, uh, and we really don't want you to miss out on these. Again, thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next release.